Call me a jackass. One more time. Jackass. How about you, Thickness? Goggles? Hancock! I knew you'd come! <laughs> Not okay. Get ready for some superhero shakeups because Hancock is making a comeback. Wondering what's in store for the not so typical hero? Well, we've got the lowdown on the upcoming movie, straight from the lens of director Peter Berg. Despite its massive success in 2008, the highly anticipated sequel to the revisionist superhero flick Hancock, starring Will Smith as the titular hero, seems to have vanished into thin air. Hey, I don't give a shit what you did. I don't care. Three guys in the car, no girls, rave music. Hey, I'm not gonna judge. The original film raked in a whopping $629.4 million globally, securing its place as the fourth highest grossing movie of the year, as reported by Box Office Mojo. So what exactly derailed the sequel? Navigating the tumultuous waters of conflicting personalities and hectic schedules proved to be a Herculean task in reassembling the original cast. Nearly two decades have passed since the film's release, prompting speculation that the window of opportunity might be closing. The challenge of convincing studios to invest heavily in a project featuring a lead actor who publicly slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars adds another layer of complexity. Working with or believing in a hero with such a notorious incident hanging over him might be a tough sell. Back in 2009, Peter Berg spilled the beans that the writing duo Glenn Mazzara and Adam Fierro were on board to craft the sequel script. However, since then, silence has engulfed any updates on the project, leaving fans in the dark. Delving into the essence of Hancock, the film stands as a distinctive outlier in the superhero genre. Departing from the conventional depiction of invincible heroes, Hancock, portrayed as a grumpy, alcoholic man of steel, challenges the modern superhero film narrative. His attempts at rescuing the public are met with disdain and hostility, transforming the reluctant hero into a recluse who lives and drinks alone. Only emerging from his self-imposed isolation when duty calls, Hancock is a reluctant do-gooder who wishes he didn't have to be. The film showcases the magnitude of Hancock's power, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. After saving the life of Ray Embry, a corporate publicist, Hancock's journey takes an unexpected turn. Embry, determined to reveal the hero's inner goodness, embarks on a comical public relations campaign with Hancock. One particularly amusing episode involves Hancock willingly imprisoning himself in a maximum security facility, showcasing the character's unique attempts at superhero reformation. Hancock isn't just a superhuman enduring insults and attitudes, he's a complex figure tethered to humanity by duty, despite his ability to soar above it all. The movie's blend of humor, action, and a hero with a distinctive edge sets it apart, making the elusive sequel all the more anticipated and mysterious. With that being said, there is no doubt about it, bringing Hancock to life was a colossal challenge. The journey began in 1996, when screenwriter Vi Vincent penned the script under the title Tonight He Comes. Despite capturing the interest of heavyweight producers and A-list director Tony Scott, the project found itself stuck in development hell for a whopping six years. A series of false starts followed, with various writers and directors like Vince Gilligan, John August, Jonathan Mosto, and Gabrielle Muccino attempting to steer the ship, all to no avail. Finally, in stepped Peter Berg, and in 2005, the casting jackpot was hit when Will Smith signed on to embody the cantankerous John Hancock. However, even with this dream team in place, challenges persisted. The film carried an R rating, a potential roadblock for a genre traditionally geared towards family audiences. Given the substantial $150 million investment, studio executives understandably wanted their say in shaping the project. The clash of personalities among Berg, Will Smith and their partners, James Lasseter, Michael Mann and Akiva Goldsmith, added another layer of complexity. The arduous process of reaching a consensus led to extensive revisions of the original script, all in an effort to make the film more agreeable to producers. The result? A decade after its inception, Hancock finally hit the screens in 2008, albeit with a tamer PG-13 rating. However, the question lingers. Does anyone want to endure such a tumultuous journey again? The compromises made to appease various stakeholders left the final product a shadow of its initial vision. 
With the behind-the-scenes turmoil and challenges faced during production, the prospect of a sequel raises the inevitable question of whether it's worth revisiting the chaos to recreate the magic. The fate of Hancock 2 remains shrouded in uncertainty. In 2009, director Peter Berg disclosed that writers Glenn Mazzara and Adam Fierro were tasked with penning the script, but progress has been elusive. Berg attributed the delays to the challenging task of aligning the schedules and opinions of a myriad of busy and influential individuals, including Will Smith, who took a hiatus to spend time with his kids. Berg candidly admitted, you'll never meet a group of people who will have a harder time agreeing on anything. Despite the obstacles, both Will Smith and Charlize Theron have expressed eagerness to reprise their roles. Theron, in particular, emphatically stated that she would jump back into the role of Hancock's immortal lover in a heartbeat. Burr confirmed their willingness to return for the sequel. However, looming over the potential project are doubts about studios' willingness to collaborate with Will Smith in the post oscar slap era. The actor's public incident at Hollywood's most prestigious event might complicate his reception as a hero, casting a shadow over his public image. Financial considerations add another layer of complexity. With 15 years of inflation since the original release, the budgetary risks associated with the sequel are substantial. Additionally, the superhero film landscape has evolved, with the dominance of DC and Marvel Cinematic Universes setting a high bar. The market saturation and the involvement of Charlize Theron in the MCU introduce further complications. Despite the challenges, Berg mentioned the possibility of shooting in 2010 during the production of Battleship. However, 13 years have passed since then, and Will Smith has remained tight-lipped about the sequel. The landscape of superhero films has transformed, leaving audiences to draw their own conclusions about the potential revival of Hancock. While no film is ever truly dead, the uncertain circumstances surrounding Hancock 2 raise questions about its viability in the current cinematic landscape. The original film, with its unique take on hero ethics, faced challenges in a market flooded with traditional superhero franchises. Whether a sequel can find its place in the modern superhero jungle remains an open question, leaving audiences to wonder if time will reveal the fate of the revisionist superhero franchise. The primary culprit behind the prolonged delay of Hancock 2 is the overwhelming abundance of conflicting ideas. According to Berg, there are too many cooks in the kitchen, resulting in a cacophony of divergent opinions on the direction the sequel should take and which elements to incorporate. The multitude of ideas has created a logistical nightmare, making it challenging to navigate the creative process and reach a consensus on the script and production details. This abundance of input has proven to be more of a hindrance than a catalyst for progress. Despite Will Smith's initial enthusiasm for the sequel, the incessant back and forth regarding the script and production intricacies led him to shift his focus towards his family for a while. While this doesn't signal the demise of the project, it does suggest that the journey to bring Hancock 2 to fruition is likely to be an even more protracted endeavor. In essence, the film's fate remains uncertain, and the continued clash of ideas has turned the production into a prolonged waiting game. The light at the end of the tunnel for Hancock 2 seems distant, and the project's ultimate realization may demand an extended period before it materializes. One glimmer of hope is that Charlize Theron is on board for Hancock 2. Charlize Theron, known for her roles in great action movies, has been actively expressing her commitment to making the sequel happen. As far back as 2009, she was ready to work on the film if everyone else was on board. Despite her enthusiasm for the role, various undisclosed issues have caused multiple delays in production over the years. Nevertheless, she remains prepared and excited to play her part. She has been getting ready for the role by taking on other action-packed roles in recent movies like Bombshell and Mad Max. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.